We're in Evergreen, Colorado, and this beautiful man is part of the public artwork that uh, adorns this lovely um, suburb of Denver up in the mountains of Colorado. And this public artwork stands in front of the Shadow Mountain Gallery Co-op, Artist Co-op. They are the best of winners for the downtown Evergreen area, uh, voted so by the readers of the Mountain Connection newspaper, which is the newspaper that, that I own and publish. So we're going to go inside and give them their award. Hello, congratulations. We have the, uh, the YouTube camera genius here, so we get all of this. This is Brienne. She's our co president. We are co presidents together. You know, it's a great gallery, and I want to give this to you to commemorate the fact that you were voted Best of Downtown Evergreen by the readers of the Mountain Connection. And I wonder if you could tell us what makes you so special. Well, we're a co-op. We're a co-op, which is different than uh, a normal gallery because the artists work. Uh, we also participate in uh, numerous events from, for the gallery itself. And we're also special because there's just so many different artists. We have so many different pieces and so much to offer as far as, um, as, far as merchandise goes. And it's original artwork. And it makes it, just makes it really good. Now, the artists that are members, do, do you own part of it, or how does that co-op work? We do own, we own each, it. Each, yeah, each, each artist member owns a piece. A piece of it. Mm -hmm. And so, both of you have artwork in this gallery. Yes, we do. Well, could we see some of it? And, yeah. how, oh, and so you've got other people here. Oh, yes. Are yes. these all artists or some? These are all our members members? and artists. Okay. All of us. Well, show us around a little bit. <laughs> yours first or mine first? Let's do yours first right here. Your, your closest? Go ahead. Okay. And I'll take your plaque and put it away. I'll take your flowers. And if you want to explain to Mike what you do, I'll put this I'm a jeweler, metal worker. And this is my work. A little bit of everything. And of course you even you're wearing some of your artwork yeah. as well. Yes. <laughs> yes and that. Do you, you have enough fingers for all your rings? No, if I don't, I stack them. <laughs> I stacked them, okay. Yeah. There you go, get those fingers up there. Yes. Yeah, there you My go. diamond hand. Uh -huh. Yes. Good. And Vianne, where's your artwork? Uh, mine is around the back. And what do you do? I do uh, oil and leather. Oil and leather. Oil and leather. Oh, yeah. That remind us every day. <gasps> Oh, I see. It's a, it's definitely Western Indian. Oh, or yes, it's, it's a, definitely a Western, very rustic type. Um, I, you know, one day for, uh, I should say one year for Christmas, my sister, I didn't know what to do for her, so I came up with the idea of leather and oil, and it's just a really unique, unique piece, I think. And it makes, uh, you know, because it's so unique, it makes wonderful gifts. And I've had people come back and say, you know, I'm going to have another piece because it's just so great. <laughs> so it started as a gift for your sister and now is, a, is income. Yeah, people, uh, it's people, your career. People saw it and they said, you know what, you could make something out of it. I said, sure, all right. I've been uh, I've been at the National Worcester yeah. Stock Show and I've been at a couple of different places, the uh, Park Meadows Mall. And it's, it's been it's been quite a ride. Do you ever use another medium? Um, you know, I have used other mediums, but I have to say leather has been one of my most. One of my and most where do you get your leather? I get it at the Rocky Mountain uh, uh, Tanners down in uh, downtown by the stop. No tanning on your own? You no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that good. So who else so, would you like to introduce us to? Um, let's introduce to uh, Harlan Stark here. Hi. Uh, this is my corner. <laughs> this is your corner, and I'm sorry, your name is? Arlen Stark. Stark. Hi, Arlen. Hi. Oh, Jackie. <laughs> Jackie, good to meet you. <laughs> Look at this. This is all handmade paper. <laughs> Even the mobile is handmade paper. Well, and it's covered in a, a beeswax, so it's very, very hard. But I use a lot of threads and seeds and weeds and you know, natural things. Yeah, the colors are beautiful. Thank you. Now, Thank what about you. these guys? This, um, these are covered with an acrylic medium, so they're hard. Oh, they are. Yeah, and here I've got some aspen shavings in the middle. Oh my. Yeah. Beautiful. And this is, this is actually paper mache. 
and then I just took some, you know, bottoms of weeds and stuck it in while it was drying. It's amazing. This, this is my favorite piece of all. Um, this is paper which I wove with beads and yarn. It's beautiful. And that this is beautiful. As it this, this was, yeah, that has beads in it and yarn and weeds. That was actually extremely time-consuming. Okay. But well, who, who else is waiting to show us? This melody over here and my boy. Yes. Not you. Yes. yes oh, me. I. You are going to do that, yes. Mike. Yes. Mike. Yes. Mike. Okay, we're following Mike. Oh, this is. I do the wood bowls. I love the wood bowls. <laughs> and I, I collect most of my own wood. This is the, the rosewood like this it comes out of Florida. This came out of south of Fort Myers there after the hurricane hit about five years ago. Ah. So I go down and I collect a lot of the wood from down there. And then the other bowls like this is uh, Norfolk pine. It makes it unique because it has all the trees, tree branches in the row, so all the knots in the row. Oh my. That come out of southern Florida also. This is a beautiful. That's the same thing. It has the same kind of wood. That's gorgeous. Now, look at this. It has, it has, it has gold foil inlay on a rosewood bowl. It's a variegated gold foil. How much, how much time does it take you to make a bowl? So smooth. Uh, it's just amazingly smooth. It usually takes about two, three days to do the actual bowl because most of the wood I turn is green. Mm. It can take anywhere from nine to 16 months for the wood to dry. Okay, who are you going to introduce us to next? I'm Richard Hawley. It's Richard Hawley. Hi, Richard. I'm sort of a phantom artist here. I've, I've been in the gallery for a long time but where is your artwork? Where are we? Oh, we're, oh, we're right, right here. Right here. I'm sorry, we were looking at the wrong stuff. I'm a retired airline pilot from Southwest Airlines. Well Mike is a retired pilot as well, so you're being filmed by a retired pilot. Prior to that I was a, a school teacher at Evergreen Junior High. That's where I remember you. Way back in the sixties. Many years ago. And so I have a little bit of wildlife, scenics, scenics from the sky, and aviation is in me. I've also gotten into some, some uh, abstract sort of things. This one I call Orpheus Ascending. This after the Greek mythology. If you look closely, you can see this little humanoid figure there. Oh my goodness. And, uh, but what is it? How did you create it? Is it a photograph? I, I tell people it is. I tell people I had a dream yeah. and I took my camera out of my dream and, and this is what came out. <laughs> but actually it's a, a close-up of the inside of some stained glass. That, this just came out. Gorgeous. And who are you? I am Rita Gillette. Rita. Stained glass artist. Where's your art? Right here. Here you go. Whoa. Now, tell us something about your art. Well, um, I do foil and lead. And most of the, like this is a lead piece, and that over there is done with foil. And I've been doing so the rose is foil. Yes. For the rose center. And the, the entire piece is done in foil. And then the green over here. Is this is done in lead. And actually, this is yeah. cool on this side. You can have that side. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I see now. And it's obviously called Evergreen Jazz. Yeah, I see the, I see the, um, the musical notes.